Those of you who have seen Chariots of Fire will know that the image on the screen is from one of the most pivotal scenes in the movie, where Scotland beats Great Britain in a 100 meter dash. Now, I've made a slight alteration to this picture, so I'll give you just a moment and see if you can find it. <laughs> when you see it, you'll laugh. Okay, why am I showing you a picture of running desserts in a three minute thesis competition? Well, the reason is because in my dissertation, I'm studying how sugar metabolism affects your DNA and how this changes under different metabolic conditions such as exercise and diabetes. How many of you ate sugar today? I did, it's okay. Okay, where does that sugar go? I think that most of us would say that it becomes fat or is converted into energy, but sugar metabolism is actually a lot more complicated than that. And one of the things your cells do with sugar is to turn it into an active signaling molecule. We call this signaling molecule O-gluconac, and I study how it changes the way your heart cells perceive your DNA. O-gluconac is unique because it attaches to proteins and it changes the way that they function. Um, we have discovered that some of its targets are a group of proteins called HDACs, and HDACs do a very important job because they regulate DNA compaction inside of cells. This is important because DNA has to be unwound to be translated into protein, and protein synthesis is the bread and butter of cellular function. For example, it's critically important in your heart's response to exercise and diabetes. What we have found is that O-gluconac regulates how well the HDACs do their job. When O-gluconac levels are too high, for example in diabetic hearts, HDAC activity levels are low and the hearts are enlarged and don't function properly. This may be such an important pathway that it explains why people with diabetes get heart disease and what we can do to combat it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it may be such an important pathway that it explains what we can do to combat it. Now, this is important because we currently don't have a way to treat diabetic heart disease. We do, however, have histone deacetylase inhibitor medications already. They're just being used for cancer research. So in my dissertation, I'm studying how we can use anti-cancer medications to target the HDACs and potentially treat diabetic cardiomyopathy or diabetic heart disease for the first time. My research is beneficial because it's exploring for the first time how diabetic heart disease happens and how we can combat it clinically to improve patient outcomes. But it's also important because these pathways exist in all species, so our research is painting a larger picture of how sugar controls the way your cells perceive your DNA in all species from worms to humans. Thank you. <laughs>